Well, there's a new way to get help when making a phone call isn't possible. The Rock Island County Emergency Telephone System Board and Scott Emergency Communications Center announcing texting 911 is now available for Rock Island and Scott counties. TV6 Kayla Page joins us in studio this morning. And Kayla, you spoke with officials about when exactly should people send a text versus making an actual phone call. Dustin, to text 911, you should only be used in an emergency situation when placing a phone call is not possible. Now, it should be the first version of contact for those who are deaf, deafblind, or speech impaired. Other situations include when someone must stay quiet to remain safe or if peer pressure is strong. Dispatchers. Well, they prefer phone calls so that they can get cues from background noise and voice inflections. Therefore, upon you texting 911, dispatchers will ask if they can call you and if the situation allows, the conversation will proceed from there via voice call. However, one dispatcher tells me there are certainly situations where texting is certainly beneficial. It's extremely helpful in regard to a lot of times people don't feel comfortable talking on the phone or answering the phone if we're trying to contact them. Um, it's proven very valuable when it comes to locating a suicidal subject or just trying to make contact with a homeowner. Um, again, a lot of times people don't feel comfortable answering a phone call. They don't know who it's from. So if we can lead with a text to make contact, it's proven to be very beneficial. Now, Scott County Emergency Services Director told me as part of their continuous training and ways of improvement, dispatchers will have monthly tests to keep their skills set up when it comes to responding to via situations via text. Dustin. Kayla, thank you. And while this service is now available in Scott and Rock Island counties, calling 911 is still the best and fastest way to contact 911.